Today I will unbox the Snowmaster Expedition Series 85 LT double door fridge freezer and share my first impression with you all. Let's do it. So this model is 48 liters. On the right hand, the bigger section and 37 liter on the smaller section. The temperature can vary from 50 Fahrenheit to minus eight. Let's cover some of the key features that makes the Snowmaster one of the top selection for the overlanders or the one that they just go to for camping or just to have a portable fridge. You could sometimes use it for shopping and things like that for groceries in hot climate areas. So the fridge itself has 70 millimeter polyurethane insulation. And the Expedition series is the one that has the best insulation among their selections. It has interior LED light. It has corner pieces with mount holes. You could mount it into any sort of you know fixed spaces or uh, even sliders so you could slide it in and out it has a wireless temperature control that you could remotely see the temperature for each compartment this one has two you could configure it as freezer 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 fridge 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 freezer it has a bottle opener you can use it with a 12, 24 volt cable. It has obviously AC connector as well. It's fuse socket, and it has two extra Anderson DC sockets as well. For example, you could connect it directly to your Yeti or Goal Zero or any other power supply that uses the Anderson DC connection. It has alloy handles. It has lockable latches and lid hinge. The two side handles uh, are well made, very sturdy, and they do have a spring and nice rubberized grip. If you let go of it, it goes down. So that basically ensures that when you slide the fridge back and forth or you put it in your cargo area, uh, the handle doesn't become uh, an obstacle for other items you put around the fridge or even as you slide it in and out to get stuck with other items that you have it has a pouch here with velcro another one here that you could put the remote control in this is the control area it has this nice temperature screen here We'll turn it on and check it out. And it has another venting area here as well. The fridge comes with insulation. It's nicely made, pretty thick. You see here. Each side has one latch. You can lock them. Let's unzip the insulation and check the interior.
like I said, this one is side by side. So each side has its own basket. This is basket number one on the freezer side. This area right here is where the motor and the other components go to operate the fridge. And this is a divider. You can take it out uh, or leave it. This is, the this is the remote control. This is the remote. It has a solar panel at the back to maintain the charge. It has a micro USB connector to directly charge it from a battery. It has a direct on and off switch here, the hard switch. And then these are the controls for the fridge. Nice LED here. It has a bag light. And these are the controls for the fridge. So when this fridge is in the bag of your car or somewhere around the camp, you could have the remote by your side and still monitor the temperature of the fridge to make sure it continue to be plugged and operating efficiently. Let's look at the cables. The fridge comes with two cables. This one is for direct connect to the car. This is the most efficient way as far as power consumption because the fridge is configured to utilize less power when it's plugged to the car through the DC connector. And this is the direct electric connector. The fridge also comes with a beer bottle opener I will show you where it's attached to the side of the fridge and it comes with this uh, allen key to um, work on the screws and uh, attaching this uh, uh, beer bottle uh, opener on the side and obviously instruction manual each door has two latches at the back you can remove the door entirely if you wanted to and to do that you could open this here and then lift the door up and then move it to the side and to put it back just align and slide the door and then you basically close it there are two rubber stops here this helps keep the door standing while you uh, take anything uh, out or put anything in in the fridge it's a nice touch to have these rubberized pieces here let's take some measurements it's 
it's about 31 and a half. Nineteen, but if you calculate the handle, is about uh, twenty-one. The interior of the freezer is about eighteen and a half deep. It's almost uh, eight and a half inches wide, and the length is. about 12 and 3 quarter the deepest side of the of the fridge or freezer is about 18 and a half and then on top of the model the shallow side is about 11 14 and a half 14 about 14 and a quarter width is about 12 and 3 quarter. Both sides on the bottom have a hole to clean and empty any water left over. As I showed you from the inside there are two holes. Each side has one hole to empty any sort of uh, leftover water or liquid. These two right here opens up to let the water drain and then when you're done you just close them this is where you put the beer opener These are the two Anderson connectors. This is the direct uh, 12 volt or 24 volt connector. You can adjust the speed here. This one is high this one is low and this one is audio this one is the small one the freezer one and this one is the fridge one this fridge comes with auto battery disconnect to maintain a usable level of power left in the battery as you operate it out of your car battery so there are three default settings 11.8 10.7 and 10 volt you can see those default settings by double pressing the set You see here it's at 10 volts. I will connect the fridge now through electrical power. You can see here it changed to AC automatically. And then I could change it back to battery if I wanted to. Currently it is consuming 45 watts out of my Yeti 1000. I'm using that as a power source. Now let's look at the remote. The fridge has two inside LED lights. This is another vent here. 
I have turned on the fridge for a few minutes. The freezer side is already cold to the touch. The handles have tie downs. If you want to tie the fridge to your cargo area so that it doesn't move. This fridge has a built-in alarm. It sounds after two minutes if the doors are not shut, if the fridge is connected and it's on. One of the nice features about this fridge is that you could reverse the location of the control unit from the side of the unit, which is a default configuration it comes with out of the box, uh, or to the front of the unit if you choose to. And it seems to be very simple to do so. Follow the instruction manual details on how to do this. You could attach the beer opener to this site or this site. My first impression of the Snowmaster is that it's a very, very well built fridge and it has incorporated some very strong functionality into this package by making it capable of taking the abuse of outdoor usage, if that's overland or camping or whatever else you want to use this fridge for. The latches are extremely well made. The overall insulation seems to be top notch. The materials used are very well made and attached to each other. I haven't noticed any gaps or defect in relationship to how the unit is assembled. Is worth the premium cost that comes with. You can go to Snowmaster's website to look for additional information. Hope this overview was helpful and let me know down below if you have any questions. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.